Some more examples. Uh, a helicopter A observes two ships B and C. So if we have helicopter here, observes two ships B and oh, I can extend that more C. Okay. And uh, B is 23.8 kilometers from the helicopter. Then we have 23.8 kilometers. And C is 31.1 kilometers. 9, sorry. From it. The angle of view, BAC. This is our A. BAC. This one is 83.6 degrees it should be a um, oh. bigger angle almost 90 degrees it's too much ah oh, anyway see and this is 83.6 degrees. Okay. How far are the ships apart? B, C. Let's say we have our A. That is what we're going to solve. This is now 31.9 um, kilometers. Um, we have two sides and one angle. Then we can use the cosine law. So we have a squared is equal to, if this is b, and this is c, then we have a squared, uh, b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Then we have a is equal to uh, the square root of, what is our b? We have 31.9 squared plus c, that is 23.9. 8 squared minus 2 times uh, 31.9 multiplied by 23.8 multiplied by cosine 83.6 okay then our calculator will do the rest that's the square root we have 31.9 squared oh sorry it should be in a parenthesis there you go plus 23.8 squared minus uh, two times two times 31.9 times 23.8 times uh, Cosine 83.6 is equal to. Then we have B to C, our A now, that is B to C, that is 37.6 kilometers apart. Okay? The last example that I'm going to discuss is this one. From the foot of a building, I have to look uh, 22 degrees upwards to sight the top of a tree. The, from the top of the building, 150 meters above ground level, I have to look down at an angle of 50 degrees below the horizontal to sight the tree top. Okay, how high is the tree? If we call this x. Okay, and how far from the building is the tree? If we call this y. We have a and b. Okay, so if we know that this is 90 degrees, that means this one is uh, 68 degrees. And if we know that that is also 90 degrees, then this is 40 degrees. 
what we need now is this one. 40 plus 68 is 108. This, mu this must be 72 degrees. Why we need to do that? Yes, because we need to find this uh, length. This one. We need to find this one. I can put it A here. Why? Because for to solve for x and y, because to solve for x and y, I'll put it here. Uh, opposites, what opposite side divided by the sine at 22 degrees is equal to opposite side that is x divided by hypotenuse that is a. That's why it is very important for me to solve a. And uh, adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, we have cosine 22 degrees is equal to y divided by a. So I need to solve a first. Okay. Uh, there we go. Sine law says that we have... Um, a divided by sine uh, 40 degrees, the opposite of the of side A, is equal to um, 150 meters divided by sine 72 degrees. So we have our A is equal to 150 multiplied by sine 40 degrees divided by sine 72 degrees. Okay, so to solve the first one now for x, how high is the 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 tree? We have x is equal to a sine twenty two. Okay, if we multiply both sides of the equation by a here, by a, then we have x is equal to sine twenty two degrees. But our A is 150 sine 40 divided by sine 72 multiplied by sine 22 degrees. Okay, so our X is, our calculator will do the rest. We have 150 sine 40 divided by sine 72 multiplied by sine 22 then we have 37 almost 38 degrees and uh, 38 meters height and uh, how far from the building is that tree if we multiply both sides of the equation by a here also then we have y is equal to a cosine 22 degrees. So we have 150 uh, meters sine 40 degrees divided by sine 72 degrees multiplied by cosine 22 degrees. So our y now, if I can only change sine with a cosine, then I have now 93, almost 94 meters. Okay, that's it. All the examples that uh, I plan to give you uh, using the sine rule and cosine rule. In my next uh, series of videos, I think it will be series of videos, I will be discussing the graph of trigonometric functions and the first that I will be discuss is the sine function. So have a nice day and I hope to see you soon also in my next series of videos.